Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. I finally have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys today. Sorry that I haven't posted a Dollar Tree haul for over a month now. I've just been trying to get all these other videos out of the way. I have two bags of goodies to share with you and a lot of these items have actually been holding for probably over a month now. As always, I'm just going to pick things up as I go. So first is this tote. I don't have this tote yet, so that's why I decided to pick it up. And you guys know me with my love for totes and my tote collection. I think I have something similar to this, but it's a completely different uh, pattern and different colors as well. I picked up another bag of these Cover Bridge brand potato chips, and this is in the sea salt and vinegar flavor. Every time I see these at my store, I always pick it up. I picked up one roll of aluminum foil, simple things like these I love uh, picking up at the Dollar Tree. Next is this magnetic clip, and I'm pretty sure you guys have seen a lot of people haul this already. It has the googly eyes, and there's a magnet on the back. Just a clip. I just got two items for Jaylene, and this one is Play-Doh. I did buy a green one along with this, but she already opened that one. And this one is also Play-Doh, but just a different brand. And there's little tools in there that she can use with the Play-Doh. Of course, you guys know they have all their school supplies out now. I decided to pick up this binder pouch. This is not going in a binder, but I'm going to use it for something else. I really like the fact that it's see-through and I love the pink dotted pattern as well. I picked up these pens by Inkatour. It comes in a pack of three, and I don't mind the quality of the Inkatour pens. I'm still using the ones that I have. Those ones are just all black and a completely different pattern. I like how these ones are different colors, and the patterns are really cute as well. They had like matching dry erase markers, and this is in black ink. I think this is somewhat new. It's a door hanger notepad, and they had a few different patterns, but I decided to go with this one. It's really pretty and there's 60 sheets in here. I am running out of my mini notepads because lately I've been using them to write stuff down, reminding myself of things here and there. So this is going to be very useful. Of course, I'm just going to have it by this door. And I mean, whenever I need paper, I can just rip it off, which actually leads me to the next item, which are these cute post-its. I think these are new, but there's just owls. There's like a tree over there I think. I'm just gonna keep these up by the computer table whenever I need to take down some notes. Chris picked up these two painting items because we still have to finish up the rooms upstairs. He just got these trim refills and a two inch paintbrush. A few weeks ago we went camping and I think that's why I bought this item but I guess I forgot to bring it along with me. It's an aluminum LED flashlight. It says the batteries are included. I guess I'm just gonna put this on my keychain. I picked up another one of these sunglass clip holders and I always like to have three or four pairs of sunglasses in the car. So one of them is just gonna go on here and this just clips onto the visor. I almost forgot about this household item but it's just a two pack of fly swatters. As always, I love saving the best items for last so I have a few of my favorites to show you guys. And I'll start off with this. I found this vanity mirror. I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up, but I'm in love with the detailing. It's super pretty. And I think I've actually seen a few people haul this from last year and I thought it was gorgeous. I was hoping my stores would get it, but they didn't. But yeah, now I finally found it. Next is this two pack of buffer blocks. And this is not a bad deal because it comes in a pack of two. So really like that. I noticed they have these eye makeup remover wipes. It comes in a pack of 30. And the only thing I've used from this brand are their uh, facial wipes, so I'm definitely excited to give this a try. I was super excited about these items, and I actually picked them up on our way back home from our camping trip. We stopped by a Dollar Tree, and I noticed they had these Global Beauty Care Grapefruit Scented Blotting Sheets. I forgot what the other brand of blotting sheets are called that I always see at my Dollar Trees, but lately I haven't been seeing them. I already ran out of blotting sheets, so I decided to get two of these, and I like how it's grapefruit scented. So I'm definitely excited to give these a try. And there's 50 sheets in a pack. I'm almost done with this haul. I just have two more items to share with you guys. And first are these pairs of lashes by Tivoli or Tivoli Cosmetics. And I got three of them. They're all the same style. When I first saw these lashes, I was hesitant in trying it out because I wasn't sure if they're going to be comfortable or if they're gonna last all day. But after using them over and over again, I'm really happy that Dollar Tree came out with these brand of lashes because the sassy and chic ones are okay, but they never have like the really bold style that I want. These ones are great quality, it lasts all day, and it actually comes with like a small tube of uh, glue in each package, so that's not bad. They have a bunch of different styles that you can choose from too. The other place where I get my really bold um, lashes are from Dollarama, because they have our gel lashes. Those ones are $2.50. At least I know that Dollar Tree has these and I can always go back 
because these are just $1.25. Last and final item that I got overly excited about are these emoji decorative tapes. I only got one because for now I don't really need any more tapes, but I did get really excited when I first saw this at the store. So that's it for this Dollar Tree haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like it, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe as well if you haven't already so you don't miss out on my upcoming videos. Definitely check out my vlogs if you guys are into vlog videos because there are times where we take you with us to Dollar Tree and I show you around the store to see what they have, see what's new that I don't necessarily pick up. Also, I am in the party planning process for Jaylene's third birthday party next month. I recently purchased a lot of party favorite items from Dollar Tree, so if you guys want to see all those items that I picked up, definitely stay tuned for a party supplies haul. Thumbs up if you would like to see that kind of haul video. And I think that's all I have to say to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys in my next video.